Bwana Yesu asifiwe wapendwa. Amen. Jioni ya leo, sibini. Nina neno mufundo. And this word the curse. Mtalipokea. You will receive me. Tusome ndugu kumbukumbu la Torati. Reference brother the book of Deuteronomy. Kumi na nane. Chapter 18. Tisa kumi paka kumi na ini. Nine, ten to fourteen. Hasa sasa sikisa mahubiri ya jioni ya leo. Now listen to the preachings of this evening. Tusome mpendwa. Reference beloved. Utakapo kuisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo bwana mungu wako. Usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano machukizo ya mataifa yale. Asionekane kwako mtu ampitishaye mwanawe au binti yake kati ya moto wala asionekane mtu atazamaye bao wala mtu atazamaye nyakati mbaya wala mwenye kubashiri wala msihiri wala mtu alogaye kwa kupiga mafundo wala mtu apandishaye pepo wala mchawi wala mtu aombaye wafu kwa maana mtu atendaye honi chukizo kwa Bwana kisha ni kwa sababu ya hayo Bwana Mungu wako anawafukuza mbele yako Uwe mkamilifu kwa Bwana Mungu wako maana mataifa haya utakao wamiliki huwasikiliza wanaoshika nyakati mbaya na kutazama bao bali wewe Bwana Mungu wako hakukuparuhusa kutenda hayo When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto diviners but as for thee the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do onyo hili natoka kwa Mungu now that warning comes from God na vizazi paka saa hii the generations even at this time wanafanya mambo haya who do these things ambayo Mungu hakuruhusu which God did not allow Niko nafanya jambo ambalo Mungu hakuruhusu and if you doing a thing that God never allowed utazamia nyakati mbaya now looking or observing bad times kule sehemu za kwale some other areas at kwale sijui mambo haya yanaendelea sasa lakini yako I don't know if those things are going on but I think they're still there. Kuna siku ambayo si ya Jumapili vile. The certain days which are not all on Sunday. Na wanaita Juma hawalimi. But they call it Juma and they don't go to their, their farms. Hawafanyi kazi. They don't work. Juma, Juma they call it. Siku tena mashetani. This is a day of devils. Na inaabudiwa. And is worshiped. Muko hapa mwenda kanisani. You here going to church? Lakini mwashika vitu but you observe some things. vitu na kusadiki vitu you believe things and trust in things ambavyo si maagizo ya Mungu which are not according to the commandments of God sasa huu mfundo now this curse ni wetu sisi is ours maana yoyote ambaye any child anafanya kinyume kuchukiza mama au baba something that offends his, his mother or father huyo mama atasikia neno au baba now this mother or father hear something kwa uchungu na hasira kali and become so bitter and, and very harsh and very angry sasa wakati wa kuzungumuza na time of talking kwa ukali kwa wewe mwana that harshly to you the child ikiwa kuna watu wenye uelewi if there are any people with any understanding there wanamwambia mzee hapo lipofika usipitishe they tell all man the way we've gone don't go beyond that place maneno ambayo naendelea baba kecharo the words you doing in charo's father au mama kecharo or charo's mother au mama kekaindi kazungu kahindi's mother au kazungu's mother mahalo lipofika the fire of god huyo ni mtoto usipitishe that's a child don't go beyond those words ukapitisha huyo mtoto atakuwa mashakani if you go beyond those words the, 
this boy will be in trouble dunia, Meaning, on this earth you'll never, you'll never prosper you'll never build anything you'll never have any idea that will succeed Wala kazi ya kufaulu, and work that will succeed however diligent you will be Paka utakaporudi, until when you return kwa huyo wako, to your parent here akuteme, mate. To, to spit on you Asungumuse, and then he talks ule Usikia, the bitterness as he felt when you transgressed him Mufundo. this is a curse Mama umoja, malindi, leo hilo neno. one lady at Malindi told me that Mima what today kasema, Mufundo, I testified to her she said this Mufundo, curse this curse kama mwanako, if your child has transgressed you, you maybe he's a boy or a girl nobody's child Havana? no Mufundo unashika mwana and the curse comes after the child mwana your own child ni mama maybe your mother ni baba maybe the father ana neno hilo ndani mwake has that word in him ndio mungu akasema watu hawa that's why god said these people watu hawa these people wewe mwana you as a child uwaheshimu better honor them kumbe si bure and yet it's not in vain unaneno le wezalo kukuumiza maisha ni mwako there's something that can harm you throughout your life sasa yo mama kanambia now that lady told me manake it means utachukua haya matiti yako you'll take you carry you your breast you ngumute mara mbili au mara tatu and hit them twice or maybe thrice kama wewe hukunyonya hapa if you did not suckle here angumute will hit them alafu hizi nguo zake za chini tena asingumute hivi and then she shakes her clothes also now we huna dawa no one have any remedy there hata ukaenda ngambo even if you go abroad hata ukaenda nchi gani if you go to any country huna kitu utajenga dunia hii there's nothing you'll ever build on this earth usiporudi kwa huyu if you don't come back to this one mama alikwambia waolewa nyumba ile your mother told you are you getting married in that house mimi sisiki uende i don't feel like you should go unaoa there. nyumba ile are you marrying in that house mimi sisiki uende i don't feel that you should go there ah oh no wewe mama anasema nini what are you saying mama kwani wewe ni mungu are you god kwani wewe ni mungu are you god si mungu yeye she's not god lakini mungu ndiye aliyesema heshimu babako but it's god who said you honor your father na mungu ndiye aliyesema heshimu mamako and it's god who said honor your mother ukikataa hilo if you refuse that hata uwe na elimu ipi however highly educated it will be kichwani na haina kazi it will be in your head without doing anything good for you haina kazi no work for it for you ndio kazi kenya hii now that's why the jobs in this kenya jamani oh dear wa kenya mna shida kenyans are in trouble mna shida you are you are in trouble nikitoka hili nimeingia hili if this thing gets out this one enters nikitoka hili nimeingia hili if this thing gets out this one goes out nikitoka hili nimeingia hili this it takes off another one kuna nini hii dunia imekoseka jamani what went wrong on this earth dear ni maneno kama haya nawaambia jioni ya leo because of such words like this was i'm telling you this evening mna mifundo nyinyi you are cast ile bangi unayovuta babako ana amani nayo that opium smoke is your father peace with ile bangi ya usiku na mchana ile mamako ana amani nayo that opium you smoke there night kuna mzazi ambaye anakuunga mkono you have a parent who is supporting you anakuashia who lights it for you uvute na yavute for you to smoke and then he smokes also una mfundo wa bangi then you have this cast of the opium una mfundo wa wizi you have this cast of stealing unaishi jela 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 you stay in prison throughout mama hana raha uishi huko your mother is not about not happy for you Na to sasa, stay there and now unasukumwa kufanya kazi ambayo hakuna mtu anaunga mkono ndani ya kwa mayenu you are pushed through this work which nobody is supporting in your home state Unafanya kazi ambayo si maagizo ya Mungu. You are doing such work with us are not commandment of God. Hata kidogo ndugu zangu. Hata toa my dear brethren. Hata kidogo ndugu zangu. Hata toa my dear brethren. Na Mungu anasema asiweko. And God sh- says he sh- there should not be any. Asiweko kwenu. There should not be any among you. Asiweko katikati yenu. There should not be any among you. 
Ukiona mvua imenyesha ni huruma za watu wa Mungu ameomba. You see this rain having come down. The, the masses tunakwishi kwa sababu kuna watu wanaomba Mungu. You living them because there are people who pray to God. Kuna watu wamekubali, the people have agreed kufanya yale ambayo Mungu anaruhusu. To do what God allows to be done. Hata sisi tuko hapa, right now we're here. Mungu aliruhusu kwamba God allowed that busi yake kukusanyika pamoja. We should not stop gathering together. Tuko hapa kwa ruhusa hiyo ya Mungu. We are here because of that permission from God. Musuwe watu oh ni melogwa melogwa na nani? Should be people who say I was bewitched, who bewitched you? Wewe ulitukiza wazazi wako, you offended your parents tena vibaya, very badly. Ulitukiza Mungu. You offended God. Mungu anataka uheshimu mtu anaitwa mzazi. God wants you to honor one who is called a parent. Tena umheshimu marudufu. And you honor him or her doubly. Tena utunze lake. And you take care of his or her work. Akisema sitaki. And if she says I don't want. Usiende kwa jambo hilo ambalo mzazi wako hataki. Don't go for that thing that your parent doesn't want. Huo umemkataa Mungu. That way you will have to reject God. Na ukaombea na manabii wote dunia uponi. You won't be healed even if you're prayed for by all the prophets on this earth. Usipata heri. You never get any blessing. You never get any blessings on this earth. Until when you will repent. Right leo. Just today. Leo. Just today. This night. If you agree. And obey. You will eat the good of this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let all of us close our eyes. And let bow our heads. And I'll pray in this prayer my dear Eh baba wa mbinguni na kushukuru usiku huu baba. Uliyesema wawili duniani wakipatana kwa jambo lolote lile e Mungu. Wewe utasemee wewe utatenda baba. Mungu baba ujuae kilio kilicho ndani ya umati huu wewe unajua na unaona kila mmoja aliye hapa bwana aliye anapigo hilo la mfundo mdogo kwa mkubwa bwana vile wako mbele yako na kusi uwapokee na uondoe pigo hili la mfundo wa kila aina ndani yao usiku huu bwana uwaponye vile wamekujia wameamini bwana wasemee na waponye kama ulivahidi tuombeane tupone e bwana timiza hilo neno waponye budogo hata mkubwa ponya bwana wapate akili timamu na ufahamu uingie ndani mwao na uelewi ambao umezuiliwa na yale yaliyotoka manyumbani mwao bwana warehemu kutoka leo watoke hapa ni watu kamili wazima kwa kimaisha bwana wazima kimaisha na kiroho chao e Mungu kiende juu kikue asante bwana kutimiza ndugu zangu my brethren tuzungumuze na vinywa wetu wenyewe mbele za Mungu let's talk with our own mouths before god kila mmoja muombe Mungu wakati huu Each one of us to pray to God at this time. Tell the Lord I'm grateful. It's me. I've missed good things because of insulting my parents. I made my parents to stay all night talking. Until he was defeated to it. I annoyed my parents. That way you offended God. Huna makao. That's why I don't have any Dio, huna mawazo mazuri. That's why I don't have any Dio, good ideas. Huna mpango unaonyoka au kufaulu. That's why there's no plan that straightens or succeeds. Rudia Mungu na Mungu atakurudia. Now return to God and God will return to Diva you. Nasema, That's what the Lord says. Ni Mungu aliyekaribu. It's God who's very near. Sungumuza naye. Talk to him. Kwa kumrudia. By returning to Kutoke him. Kutoke hapa. Get out of here. Shia zako zimefunguka kwa kila pembe when ya ulimwengu. When you are ha- you are will be released in the every corner of the world. Utajenga makao. You will have a building place. You will farm. Utafanya kazi. You will do the work. Halafu uja mtolee Mungu mwanzilishi. Shukrani kwako. And then come give thanksgiving to the God of the founder. Asante bwana. Thank you Lord. Tumombe bwana Yesu. Let's pray the Lord Jesus. Asante baba. Shukrani bwana Yesu. Shukrani mtakatifu. Uliye ndani mwanzilishi. Hakika bwana. Hakika bwana Yesu. Hakika bwana. 
Hakikai, <laughs> 